If not for a witness to the hoax hate crime, we would be dealing with Jussie Smollett 2.0. And this is, you know, I know it's cliche to say this, but this is a disservice to every actual victim of a real hate crime. Here's the story. Ex-Tampa Bay Buccaneers NFL player 31 is charged with trashing two of his own restaurants, spraying the N-word and MAGA on the walls to make it look like a hate crime so he couldn't collect insurance money. Is, is that what it was really about? Insurance money? We don't know that's true. So the police basically said it may, it may have been for attention. We don't know. But if there wasn't a witness nearby who saw him pull it off, this would be a very, very different story. That's from the police. This guy would be the victim. How many times does this happen? There's actually websites dedicated to tracking hoax hate crimes. And then so you, so you ask yourself, but why? Why would someone spray paint MAGA and the N-word in their own business? Think about the press. When, before it was revealed, in all likelihood, that Justice Smollett staged everything, he had what, like the cast of Big Bang Theory doing this big promo photo shoot. He had Ellen Page on, on that, you know, Colbert or whatever going, this is wrong what they're doing. Everyone comes out, but when you get caught, no one says anything. So after Justice Smollett's story fizzles out, where is, where, where's the correction? Where's the retraction? This is one of the biggest problems humanity faces. And I mean it. It's not about specifically hoax hate crimes. It's about the fact that when a lie comes out, everybody wants to partake. And when the truth happens, no one cares. Well, what about this story? Is this story going to get any traction at all? Of course not. Because a story about a poor man who was victimized by bigots wearing MAGA hats is a much better story than a dude faking it to smear MAGA, MAGA hat wearing <laughs> Trump supporters. You know, it, it, one of the issues, I guess, is this guy would have played the victim as an individual, and he could have told that story. There's no direct MAGA person. It would just look bad about, you know, at Trump. But here's the thing. This story makes them look bad. But then they'll say it was just one person. You see the problem here? If one person is the victim, they prop him up, they parade him around and say, this one incident where one thing happened is representative of everyone all the time, everywhere. It's Trump's fault. But now that it's one person getting caught, they go, it's just one person. It's not representative of everyone. Okay. All right. I get it. I get it. It's politics. It's advantageous to prop this up. Let's read the story because you can tell I'm already frustrated on this. Before we get started, head over to TimCast.com slash donate if you would like to support my work. There are multiple ways you can do this. There's a physical address, PayPal. Here's the thing. This kind of stuff, man, it's going to get deranked. It's going to get demonetized. It's a guarantee. I just, it's, it's, it's. If you like this content and you want to help me do more, just share it on social media, wherever. I don't just share it wherever, on Minds, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, let's break some echo chambers. And I, you know, I always put it this way: if YouTube won't recommend my content, if Facebook won't recommend my content, because that's how the system works, then so be it. Then it's up to you guys if you think I do a good job to share it. And they can never stop that. They can't take away the ability to share. They can try and derank me all day and night. So long as I'm doing something good, we will break through that obstacle. Let's read on. Let's, let's read the story. A former NFL player was arrested by police for allegedly wrecking two of his own businesses to stage a fake hate crime and be eligible to receive insurance money. Maybe. They think that because he called the insurance company. I believe that's, well, let's read. Authorities from the Gwinnett County Police Department in Georgia responded to a burglary in process call around 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday when a witness reported a man damaging businesses. The two businesses, Create and Bake Restaurant and Kaufman's Creamery, belonged to former NFL player and local business owner Edwin Kaufman. Inside the businesses, officers found Monkey, the N-word, MAGA, and swastikas scrawled in the wall in fresh black spray paint. The smell of spray paint was very fresh when officers touched it. The paint appeared wet, a news release from police said. The cushions were reportedly sliced open, mirrors were broken, wires were cut, TVs were missing, and the surveillance system was broken. You can see there it says, you know, monkey, and they knifed the, the seats. According to a news release, the witness told officers the suspect was driving a Chevrolet Silverado with no license plate. Uh, a corporal, I believe CPL's corporal, Michelle, uh, <laughs> Michelle Pejera told Gwinnett Daily Post, we believe he used that possibly not to have the truck or identity of the truck returned back to him. After authorities dispatched to look for the suspicious vehicle, saw one that matched the description leaving a shopping center. Behind the wheel was Kaufman. 
if it weren't for that, uh, that witness. He would have gotten away with it. Officers noticed several TVs, both inside and in the bed of his truck, that were still attached to brackets with damaged drywall. Coffin was also wearing a pair of gloves, the Gwinnett Daily Post reported. He was wearing gloves. They caught him red-handed. As far as, look, I know it's an allegation, but come on, man. The 31-year-old told authorities he'd realized his business had been burglarized earlier in the day, but contacted his insurance company instead of the local police. Ah, yes, that's, that's, that's the emergency line. You know, there's a special number to contact your insurance company that, that you know, you don't need to talk to police. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm kidding. You get it, right? Suspicious. Police officers obtained a search warrant to search Kaufman's car on Thursday. Oh, are you kidding me? Later on, they searched his car and he still had evidence in it? This dude. <laughs> I tell you what, man. So look, you can see MAGA spray painted here on the wall. I guess he's got hand sanitizer. That, that's so ridiculous, man. As if any of these middle-aged, you know, uh, uh, like out of work dudes who supported Trump are going around spray painting MAGA on walls. It's just the most insane caricature of what a Trump supporter would be. I know I kind of did that by saying, you know, middle-aged, out-of-work dude. But I'm just imagining, like, a construction worker in rural America with a MAGA hat on, like, sipping a Coors Light, watching a football game, and then you're going to act like he shows up to a Kramer and spray paints MAGA. Ha ha ha. What? <laughs> Why would they do that? It's just such a caricature. It doesn't exist in real life. No one's going around spray painting MAGA on things unless they're trying to frame Trump supporters. So, so here you go. After authorities dispatched to look for the, uh, the suspicious vehicle, saw one that matched the description leaving a shopping center. Behind the wheel was Kaufman. Officers noticed several TVs. Uh, I, I guess it's just... So you get the TV. Look at the, the wall is still on the TVs in the back of his truck. They found cans of black spray paint and a crowbar allegedly used to pry open the back door to one of the businesses. Kaufman was arrested in the early morning hours of Thursday for false report of a crime, insurance fraud, and concealing a license plate. In insurance fraud? Is there a hoax hate crime law? The police statement said, It appears as though Idan conjured a premeditated plan to damage his own property, attempt to make it appear as a hate crime, file a claim with his insurance company, and sell off the undamaged appliances and electronics. I wonder if his businesses are underwater. You know, so apparently it looks like he's got an ice cream shop and a pizza place. Are, is he not making money? Or maybe he wanted attention. If he's an ex-NFL player, I have to wonder if the real goal was just to get back in the press. Colin Kaepernick, for instance, he's built a career off activism. He, he's, he makes more money now by just being like, I protested than actually playing football. And I'm sure that resonates with people who only care about themselves. If you think they're like everyone in this world is, is a is a humble, honest individual. I got a bridge to sell you. It's just not the case. Some people are bad people and people care about themse themselves, their friends and their families. And to me, this is one of the roots of corruption, period. When you talk to the CEO of the major corporation that's polluting, you know, the stream or whatever they say, well, if it wasn't me, it'd be somebody else, but I got to take care of my family. I got to buy my mom a house. That's usually where it comes down to. Human empathy extends, you know, only so far for the average person. This guy doesn't care that he is damaging more than just a business. He is damaging the nation. He doesn't care that politics in this country are reaching a tipping point, a, a crucial point where violence has been breaking out in the streets and people are showing up to immigration facilities with weapons. He doesn't care. What does he care about? Presumably the insurance money and getting on TV, just like Jesse Smollett, in my opinion. Now, now look, Jesse hasn't been convicted. Neither has this guy. It's an allegation. So I'll respect that. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fall on the side of, this is all about personal gain. Play the victim, win a prize. That's what they want because it works. How many times have we heard a story about, say, a woman saying her hijab was ripped off? Fake news. How, we, we, we have maps dedicated to tracking hoax hate crimes. And here's what always happens. I highlight this. Why? Because it is an extreme anomaly of someone trying to take advantage of our goodwill. And like clockwork, the left comes out and claims, because I cover one hoax, I'm saying hate crimes don't exist. Of course they do. And they probably occur way more than things like this. But these things happen too much. You would think if you cared about people being victims of hate crimes, you would stop the hoaxers. You would call them out. That's why I do it. 
I don't want to see any of my neighbors, friends and family, for any reason, viciously attacked and having their business destroyed. And when it happens, I want a thorough investigation and I want the perpetrators brought to justice. We must protect the innocent. This man is a perpetrator who is damaging beyond. He is damaging more than just a business. He is making it harder to have these conversations. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. And, it, and, it's, and every single time something like this happens, this is what people say, but it is a fact. This cannot stand. Because the next time we hear about one of these crimes, and it's not outrageous and, and cartoonish like MAGA being spray painted on a wall, people might not believe him. Because we hear about these stories because of people like Jesse Smollett. And now this guy. If we actually want to bring about justice, we cannot allow this. Throw the book at the dude. Like everything you can. Let's read on. Corporal uh, Pajera told the Gwinnett Daily Post, we don't know if he was trying to get attention for this. What we do know is, if that witness had not called us, and if, that, and, and if those officers had not responded as quickly as they did, we would probably be sitting here talking about a completely different crime in which Mr. Kaufman would be trying to say he's a victim. He would be. And he would be, they'd put him on TV, they'd put him on every light, late night show, and he would say, oh, in Trump's America, oh, in Trump's America. Good, you got caught. Are they going to talk about it now? Nope, they don't care. And that is the, the, the it's, it's asymmetrical warfare in the culture war. Asymmetrical, meaning this guy can take the risk and the worst case scenario is he gets in trouble, end of story. But if he got away with it, it would have been a massive, massive strike against Trump supporters and the right, and then people would believe it. I assure you, this story is not going to reach the eyes and ears of people who hate Trump. They're not, they don't care. They're, and, 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 and even if they do see it, it's just one guy. So con artist, uh, one guy, Jesse Smollett, okay? How many other stories do we have to have? But more importantly, what was so crazy about the Jussie story was how much attention they gave this guy, putting him on what, like Good Morning America, everybody talking about it, saying this is Trump's fault, this is Mike Pence's fault. And then when it was revealed, where were these people? You see the asymmetry? This is the game. They can cheat and win. And this is what scares me about all of this. I refuse. I won't cheat. I don't. I have principles. I have integrity. I want to protect the innocent. I want to stop the hate crimes. I want real justice for people in this country, no matter what the color of your skin is or your orientation what, any, or anything like that. I want justice. I want the innocent protected. People have a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and that must be protected for all. But I'm not willing to lie, cheat, and steal. And they are. And that gives them a massive, massive advantage. And we see it. You know, I, I know I've mentioned it a couple times, but when I put on an event or I should say when I sponsor an event, I'm not a contract holder. I sponsor an event in Philadelphia. They call up the businesses. They accuse everybody of being, you know, white supremacists. And then the businesses just start backing out saying, we don't care. We don't want to play this game. And what can I do? Can I rally? You know, can, can I send out? No, 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 no. Everybody go call them and tell them it's not true. Can I pull the activist tactics? No, because they're dirty cheaters. So we can't do that. And that means we are playing life on hard mode. And it scares me because we might lose. This could happen again. In fact, another guy who owns a business next door could do the same thing and then say, oh, nope, that proves it. Now see, oh, he was innocent. He's going to claim he's innocent. The cops are going to say we've had evidence. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I assure you, there will be people right now on forums claiming he's innocent and the cops are framing him to protect the police, the patriarchy or whatever the hell. Granted, that'll be few and far between. It'll be a very small amount of people, but they will. They exist. What would have happened if he got away with it? He'd be sitting there with Colbert tonight saying, it's all Trump's fault. Trump did it. And then half the country who mostly just care about getting manufacturing jobs and paying and, 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 the, and a better economy and paying for their kids college will be smeared as white supremacists. And that's what they've been doing. I'm not a, like I, I can say it for the millionth time. Not, not a big fan of Trump, his policies or his character, but you know, it's whatever. It's another president. We're going to have an election. It's not the end of the world. I've been through multiple presidents, Democrat, and Republican, and even South Park made the joke that when Obama gets elected, everyone's running around screaming. We get it, man. It's an election. Grow up. But the people who are voting for Trump are not racists. They're not white supremacists. And then they like to come out and say, yeah, but all of the racists are Trump supporters. Not even true. Not even true. Like, come back to reality, man. This stuff is fake. Okay? It is fake. Let's read a little bit. As the investigation continues, the number of victims will be determined. We're also looking into the fact that his insurance company could also be a victim, depending on if a claim was in process. 
There's also a possibility the owner of the building could also be a victim. The case does not fit the mold of our typical criminal investigations, so we have to look outside the box to see how many victims we truly have. Kaufman was bonded out of jail. This story is not going to get any attention, so if you made it this far, share the video. I, I, it, whatever, man. You know, it's, it's, it's really frustrating to me that evil, evil people, self-interested, destructive monsters can pull this off and in the worst case scenario, sure, they'll get charged criminally, but the court of public opinion will ignore them, ignore them. And if he was five minutes faster, just five minutes, and they couldn't catch him, the witness wasn't there, he'd be getting all the praise in the world. He'd get a new brand of Nike shoes. Look at that. Look at that swoosh on that, on that shoulder pad. Yeah, look at that swoosh. I'm sure they'd love to prop him up if he got away with it. So how many times, you know, do, do, does things, does something like this have to happen? They say that the lie travels halfway around the world before the truth has a chance to strap on its boots. But there's also something else. It's not just that. It's that people will pay the fare for the lie to take a train around the world. And when the truth steps up, they say, get out. We don't care. And we don't want anyone to know. This guy didn't make the lie work, but it's still not going to travel around the world. You see what I mean? That if he got away with the lie, people would spin that around the world. They'd give it a first class flight all the way from New York to Hong Kong and back. But when he gets busted and the truth does exist first and foremost, and there is no lie, nobody wants to buy a, a ticket. Nope, sorry, this story won't ship. We just don't want it. And so you're not going to see people go on Colbell. You're, you're not going to see the Big Bang Theory cast come out and say justice for Trump supporters. Nope, <laughs> they don't care. They just want to win politically. And in the end, the liars, the cheaters, and the thieves get the advantage. And they sometimes get away with it. Fortunately, he didn't. But I'll leave it there. Stick around. Next segment will be coming up at YouTube.com um, on this channel at, uh, at 1 p.m. And I, I will see you all there.